checking to see that the audio levels are working here okay. It looks like we have Nest Audio and it looks like we're live here so we will get started. Uh, welcome everyone. This is John Howe with the Raptor Resource Project and we are going to spend a little bit of time here this afternoon having our second Decor Eagles Ed talk here, education talk, and uh, just have decided to do these uh, as uh, they've been requested and uh, we're ho hopefully going to make these kind of fun here. Uh, we already have our captive uh, uh, subjects here that are here for you and those are the Decor Eagles, mom particularly right now but uh, hopefully we can have some interesting folks come on and talk. Uh, and today's subject is going to be talking about the development of the eagle egg and what's happening inside that egg for this period of, of over a month here. What's, what's going on inside that egg that we can't see? Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, what to look for here now as eggs are getting ready to hatch. We are getting close to that so we'll talk more detail about that but uh, first off I just want to welcome everyone we've got our our uh, Decor Eagles uh, chat group and everybody who's uh, watching with our moderators there we have the education chat uh, on the chat free Eagle education page with our moderators there if uh, although it's not from classrooms like it has been now we are doing pretty much most everything remote, right? So, uh, so welcome to those folks and welcome to the majority of, of everyone here now with uh, shelter uh, at home and staying uh, uh, cooped up and trying to learn from home and figure out how to do all this stuff on a computer. So um, welcome to those groups. Uh, we also have our, our uh, watchers that are, are coming through our partner interface on explore.org also. So welcome this afternoon. Um, I'm at Command Central. Uh, I've been here today and I guess I just wanted to mention that uh, Mom Decora has been pretty much uh, on the nest while I've been here. A little bit of rain, they're talking about snow. Um, a big thanks t to uh, all that helped make this happen. and the whole house family uh, I was just uh, here earlier and uh, looking at uh, the lawn and the lawn is going to need to be mowed here pretty soon and Brian was at the hatchery Brian said to say hi um, not many people here right now and that's a good thing right so well, let's get started and as you're going through this I guess uh, my my thoughts and I, I want to speak on behalf of our our moderators and our educators and our teachers uh, all that help out we have this new interface with the the uh, lesson plans so it, it's perfect timing for people who are trying to teach from home uh, it's available to uh, parents it's available to teachers it's available to anyone who wants to take these lesson plans that have been put together by eagle loving uh, uh, teachers who do an unbelievable job of putting lesson plans together and have been doing these things over the years so raptorresource.org on our website there's also an interface uh, for the lesson plans on uh, the explore.org at the top of the page um, for for the education section so so let's get started talking here about what's going on with the eagle eggs and I guess uh, uh, we've got the eggs here and I'm just gonna take a quick peek here and see what we've got for for ages and um, looking at the the website here I see that our first egg is 36 days and 20 hours old so almost 37 days old uh, the second egg is 33 days 19 hours old and the third egg is 29 days and 20 hours old. So that 37 to 40 day period is when we expect biologically that that eaglet is going to start poking through 
the egg and and uh, and go for the hatch, right? So let's uh, let's talk more about this. And th I'm excited here today because uh, we have a special guest that we are going to be talking with, and that is Amy Reese, our own Amy Reese with the Raptor Resource Project, and. Amy's done a fantastic job just uh, with with the blogs. Um, I learn a lot going through, and and we're going to talk with her today and bring her on. Amy, are you there? I am, John. Thanks. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine, and I think uh, if I can, everyone else should be able to to hear. So, so anyway, welcome, Amy. Um, we're going to talk. I'm just going to make a little bit of a transition here from our welcome slide. We're going to go to uh, a slide here and I will let you talk about the Eaglet development. Okay, so hi everybody and what John said, thanks for joining us. We're going to start at the very early stages of fertilization. So as a fertilized yolk travels through mom's oviduct, it begins dividing to form the basic template that underlies all vertebrate life. Think about us, we have insides and outsides. We have a front side and a back side, and we have top and bottom sides. At four days of age, so mom's probably just the egg, uh, maybe it's a day or two old, the embryonic eagle looks more like a tiny tadpole than a bird, but it has basic life support structures like a heart, and it can transport materials through its developing circulatory system. We know that our little eaglet can't grow and develop without nourishment, and of course, it doesn't have a placenta like us placental mammals. Early in embryonic development, three membranes seal around the eaglet, forming a womb of sorts that supports it as it grows. The egg yolk and some albumin provides nourishment, and the membranes exchange oxygen and gaseous wastes, waste with the outside world, which sets the stage for embryonic growth, right? Because you can have all the insides, outsides, tops, bottoms that you want, but without materials like nourishment and the ability to exchange gases, the eaglet can't grow. So if you look at the first eaglet at left, it has leg, wing, and tail butts, the beginnings of an eye, you can just see it there, and a clearly defined head. Since it lacks a beak and digital grooves, if you look real closely there, the, the digital grooves are the precursors of wings and toes, it's probably around six days of age. At nine days of age, which we don't see here, our little eaglet will have stiff differentiated limbs, the beginnings of a beak, and although obviously it's cloacal, we can't see it, it will have a defined sex. If you look at eaglet two, you'll see that looks a little bit more like a bird. And it's about 50% of the way to hatch. It has a beak, you can look, if you look real close, you can see its little beak, toes, bent limbs, and eyes that take up most of its head. But it needs to develop scales, males, rough pads, and down feathers. So you can think of this sort of being naked at this point. It's got the basic structures laid into place. It has the organs it needs, but it has yet to develop its sort of outside coverings. And there's a lot of room for growth in its organs yet. Uh, it's also a lot smaller than it looks in this image. Our eaglet takes up maybe at this point about an eighth of the volume of the egg. By 24 days of age, about 65% of the way to hatch, or the third eaglet from the left, most of the major changes are done. It still looks kind of weird if you take a look at it. Its eyes need to grow into its sockets. Its natal down has to grow from feather germs, and again, it has to get a lot larger. If you look at its limbs, you can also see we still need a little bit more differentiation in the digits, although the tail buds are there and fairly well formed. It also has tiny ear holes, you can see that, and of course at this point, uh, not only has a uh, beak, it has an egg tooth. So it's, it's set for hatching in almost every way, except its intestines need to be drawn into its body, its body cavity needs to seal, and of course it needs to get a lot larger. Now if you look at the second to last eaglet, that one is almost ready for hatching. This illustration doesn't show it, but it turned around so that its head is at the large or blunt end of the egg. If you've ever peeled a hard-boiled egg, you know there's an airspace there. That has a purpose. The young eaglet will stick its head up into the airspace, breathe air with its lungs for the first time, and absorb the remaining yolk and albumin into its body to provide energy for hatching. So we pointed out the eaglet belly button or yolk sac scar after it draws the egg into its body. And again, the yolk, excuse me, this is right before hatching. 
that zips up, but it leaves a little scar, the eaglet belly button or yolk sac scar. At this point, the hatching muscle, which is a one-time structure used only during hatch, and this is all going on, by the way, in the D34 egg right now, uh, as far as we know, that muscle is going to contract, so it's going to sort of snap shut, that will pop the chick's head or the eaglet's head back. Its egg tooth, which almost, as John pointed out, is a little bit more like a ridge, as we can see so clearly with these cameras, will come into contact with the eggshell and cause it to crack. We don't see this, it hasn't hit the outside eggshell yet, but the long hatching process has begun. And again, this is probably what's going on in the eggshell right now. So. That's great. And I'm here, John, thank you. Yeah, yeah, and we're gonna take a look at a, a video uh, creation of, uh, it's a, actually chicken, but uh, very similar in, in, in the video part of that. And you can hang on for that too, Amy, if you just wanna mark out any major points that are happening it is it does have some audio some some music to it so i'll leave that on there but i'm going to leave you on air if you want to make any comments with me while we go through this but uh, um, that diagram there uh, thanks to dr sharp and the institute for wildlife studies uh, putting that uh, that sequential graphic together there and and frank Lilly and, and william sillen for that uh, that artistry here. So we're going to take a quick check at mom. It looks like she's she's still incubating and uh, nothing has changed there. Uh, just from another angle, a little bit uh, closer, uh, we've got a beautiful, beautiful view of her here. And earlier today, uh, I was remarking and we were zooming in and taking a look at some of the beating of the rain droplets on her feathers. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing to see how the waterproofing of the feathers works there. So let's take a quick peek at this, this uh, video here. I'm going to make this video live and we'll talk about the credits here afterwards. I think everything is coming through. We've got our egg. Egg would have been laid. We're on day one now. Two heart is forming. Pretty neat, huh? Thanks to uh, the poultryhub.org uh, from Australia. That was wonderful. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for coming on, Amy. We'll finish here and uh, have a great rest of your Friday. You too. We'll talk to you all later, everybody. So, right now we're looking at Mom Decora and I just thought uh, there might be a chance that something might happen today. We're talking about biologically, we're right at that point where the eaglet is at that larger side of the egg, the air sac has been pierced, and they're starting to work on scoring the inside of that egg. 
one thing interesting about eggs um, I just wanted to mention how neat it is about how how eggs are designed they're designed for oh, I think mom is gonna get up so I think we are going to take a quick peek here and see if we can get a shot of the eggs let's do that here she's just coming in time here and bear with me here let's see if we can take a quick peek let's just see if we can see any development in those eggs what we're looking for would be that starring that cracking on the egg um, you can see mom is rolling the eggs look at how she balls those talons up and then she's going to push those eggs up after rolling them up into her brood patch for keeping them them warm uh, i don't see and i think you guys can agree with me there that doesn't look like what we have any signs of starring very interesting love how she anchors her beak there and then she also takes her her the top of her feet and tucks those eggs and pushes them up into uh, uh, the, the brood patch area there isn't that neat I am going to pull this back and get back to the talk here um, so one thing I wanted to show you was the eggs and that you and and you got to see that right firsthand so uh, that was really great uh, but I think the thing that we're looking for is that starring of the crack in first crack in the egg um, it becomes out of round we can see a small hole developing and we got some really good last year we had some amazing shots of D uh, 30 uh, D D 30 three I believe it was coming out d33 was coming out and you could see the beak moving around through the hole um, and and d32 was sitting there so here is a video I'm going to show you and this is one that you can see that happening I'm going to pause it right now but this is a this is basically a video from back at n1 the original nest and I think this I'm just going to grab my my notes here but I believe this was this was D 23 and this is a video that Bob took uh, but an amazing video it's not an HD like the HD cameras we have today but you can get a good idea of this so let's watch this uh, courtesy of Bob Anderson um, we're uh, remembering some of the great uh, things that you helped create and bring to us here that we're carrying on with this education program today. So we'll get the audio here. We're seeing quite a bit of cracking and I think that eagle is just about ready to come out. This is D23, that's probably D22, I'm guessing, next to it. getting further along and it looks like just about to the point where enough energy to stretch and push through that it looks like we've got a, a little bit further in time here and there it goes there's that big push stretching those legs out in that wing and getting ready for maybe almost the first bobble here Those incredible talons with all their strength right next to that very tender just freshly hatched eaglet so anyway I am going to 
put this back on the live feed. We are done there. So I guess the big thing I uh, wanted to mention was you know what we're looking for here. Uh, eagles, uh, they will do some standing off of the eggs after they are first laid and we saw that last year with uh, DM2 and, and we saw him really not sit down tight on those eggs at first so I think uh, some questions came up uh, with our north nest up in Decora about you know the eaglets D11, D12 hatching uh, basically within 24 hours of each other. How does that happen? Uh, falcons, other raptors, uh, probably more so. I mean, right now, I believe our great spirit bluff falcons there, Nova uh, and, and Newman, uh, they got three eggs working on the fourth and they still are not full-time incubating yet. So that's delayed incubation. And that does help with the, the either falcons or the eaglets hatching closer together. It gives a better chance of all of them surviving when they hatch closer. But um, we're probably going to have, you know, something similar to up at the Decor North Nest. We usually have about maybe two days or so between uh, hatching. Sometimes it can be a little bit longer than that, but it all depends on the development of that specific egg. So we're going to be looking for that starring and that crack in the egg. Uh, we could probably, with the, the quality of the audio here, we might be able to hear some of the audible uh, of the eaglet before it actually cracks through and then also while it's coming out of the nest. So um, we've got some pretty exciting things coming up here in the next uh, week. And like I said, today was the day that this could start happening. Um, it isn't happening yet, that we can tell, but keep your eyes peeled. and. We are coming up here uh, pretty close to a half an hour, so I'll be be wrapping things up here. But um, just wanted to mention here that uh, um, we really appreciate all the work from the cam operators and the moderators and all that help us bring this live cam and these live cams to you guys. And again, reminder on the Raptor Resource Project website, raptorresource.org and on explore.org, uh, we've got the lesson plan links there under education. Uh, this is a great time to watch some nature. Um, news from nature is what I like to call it. And get connected with nature while you're spending more time at home. Be safe and it's a great opportunity to get more connected with your family and that can be both uh, human family and uh, the families out there in nature. Uh, Decora Eagles are welcoming, welcoming us and, and they don't seem to care. I think that uh, we are all watching them. So thanks again. Um, I'll probably jump on chat here. Uh, maybe Amy too for some questions that come up if you guys have questions after this. But uh, thanks. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, we've got uh, uh, D24 and D25 here that are thanking you in person uh, and uh, stay safe and stay at home and if you need to be out there wash your hands and use your inf disinfection wipes and we really appreciate all of you out there that are doing the doing the healthcare workers and everybody else so and the educators so have a great day and thanks for joining us. We'll go back to Mom Decora and her three eggs.